Hey, Barbie. Good morning. What up, Sacra Blue? What up, Kid Word? How are you guys? Go to the house, baby. Go to the house. <clears throat> Good morning, Erica. How are you? Hey, Kayes. How you doing? What up, Issa? It's a beautiful morning, isn't it? It's a lovely day. And it's beautiful to see the light of day, my darlings. I um, <clears throat> I just submitted my report for the sheriff. I just submitted my report to the sheriff and I am slowly but surely getting out of that um, deep psychic spiritual mode that I've been operating in. Go to the house now. Go to the house. Go. Go to the house, boy. Cerberus, go. Good boy. Go. Good boy. <sighs> this is the biggest exhale I've had since last Wednesday. I promise you. I um, have been so deep into my thoughts, so deep into wanting to get it right for these people that um, I think I was losing my mind a little bit. I really do. I think I was borderline crazy for a while. Um, this experience working with the sheriff was a little different because um, I had three tasks and not just one. I'm used to focusing on one person. So how can I like break this down to you? It's like on live, if I answer three questions at the same time and pull cards on all three, then um, the messages could get misconstrued. This is the first time I've ever had big tasks like this and such a big responsibility with not one, two, but three cases. Um, I did the best that I could. I do believe that the conclusion parts of the cases that I analyzed are really fucking good. I mean, I, I, I really feel like I've delivered some information that they did not have. And hopefully it leads to some answers for the family. I was their last hope. Like, and you know, um, that amount of pressure, I'm just happy I didn't fold. You know, like I, it's such an uncommon ability and gift that like trying to find empathy was difficult too. So I found myself like really going into a sunken place for a while. You know what I mean? And um, I felt like really lonely these past five days because nobody's really relating to the task at hand. They're just proud that I'm with them. But then it's like the pressure. I have not slept all night, um, which is fine with me. I have clients all day <laughs> and I have a show tonight. And um, I can sleep when I'm off. And I'm off on Wednesday. I gave myself an off day. But um, didn't I tell you to go to the house? I'm still kind of trying to unjumble my brain. <laughs> but I wanted to talk to you guys about it because... Sir, go to the house. Because talking about it kind of sorts it out in my own head. Mm. No, sir doesn't listen. Oh, and get this. I'm going to retell this story um, on live this afternoon. But on... Friday, Cerberus decides that he wants to run away. Um, and I didn't know where he was. So imagine you have three missing persons cases and then your dog damn go missing. So I called my mom. I like start crying. I throw myself on the floor. And um, as you can imagine, this has been a very dramatic experience for me. <laughs> and um, she was like, he'll be back. Stay calm. He'll be back. Well, I get on the neighborhood app. And I find him. He's up the street at some Santa Claus looking man house. I'm like, damn, you could at least go to somebody's sexy house. You know what I'm saying? So I pull up, I get him. And, you know, of course, I discipline my child. And um, 
I was at Callie's house this weekend and it hit me what that meant. It was like God used Cerberus to keep me calm and trying to find the missing persons. It was almost like Sir is going to go missing, but you need to have blind faith and stay calm and find them. And I did. And that same energy I applied to the last day that I was on the case, which was yesterday and this morning. So I thought that that was like more than ironic because he hasn't run away in a very long time. Like he's he hasn't run away in a while. And I just was like, why out of all times are you running away when I got three fucking missing people I'm trying to motherfucking find, bitch? Like, I was really pissed the fuck off. And imagine, like, I'm down a rabbit hole trying to figure out what this sign means, what that sign means, what God is trying to tell me, trying to, like, understand everything before I portray everything. And then I got to translate everything I'm feeling into the English language. And then your bitch ass want to go goddamn missing, bitch. I was like out of it bitch i was so mad like i was so pissed off like and then my mama was like it's funny that he goes missing when you have missing persons cases and i was like you right but i didn't really register it until this weekend then i was like oh like you're trying to tell me to stay calm in the search i get it you know what i'm saying so i don't know it's just interesting this whole process has been very interesting for me i um you know, this was more pressure than opening up for Erica Badu. And I don't think people understand that. Like, you know, like, it's hard for me to break it down. They're hiring me for my intuition. So every spell, every candle, every class, every omen, every sign has led up to me helping the sheriff's department. You know, for like five days, it became less about demonstrating that this exists and it became living in who you are. You know, a lot of what I do is proving to you. You know, I, I every day, that's why I do nationwide stories and shit. I have to prove myself because people don't believe it. You know, people think it's a joke. People, you know, people don't put stock in what they don't understand. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in a constant thing of proving myself. And in this, I've already proven myself. And they're trusting what I've proven. It was a different vibration. And for the first time in eight years of business, I felt like, bitch, you arrived, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's like prestigious institutions is hitting you up for your knowledge. Like... Bitch, I half of me feel like I need to raise prices after that. <laughs> but I ain't gonna do that to y'all because y'all helped build this. Y'all helped me get the credibility, so I'm not gonna do that. But um I don't know, man. I just had to top this out. I have a meeting in eight minutes with the new music director for the concert in August. Um and then at noon I'm working clients from last week until like four or five, and then I got a live to do. This is gonna be a busy ass day. And not to mention I'm starting my slim thick tees today. You know, that slim, thick tea. This shit is on the stove right now, bitch. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, it indeed was an honor, uh, Sierra. They said they don't reach just... They don't just reach out to anyone for him. I know, like... So, like, again, let me go back to that point. For so long, I fought to prove. So, coming from that place is where I... And most comfortable delivering my psychic message when people are doubting me, when people <clears throat> feel like I can't, or when people feel like, oh, this ain't real, or when people feel like, oh, this is some bullshit, like, I turn up. This, they're like, we do believe in you, now do what you're supposed to do. That's a different vibration I had to work from. And, um... It was more pressure that way. <laughs> because if people already don't believe you, you ain't got nothing to lose. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If people don't believe you, then you ain't got nothing to lose, bitch. You can, you, can, you can play. This was not play. This was helping families who on their last hope. <sighs> Things I could have done better. I could have been more ambitious about seeing the locations. And um, I could have been more ambitious about actually going to the 
touch the evidence. I did see most of the evidence in picture form, but I should have put my hands on it. Like somebody told me in squad, I should have. Um, I would have spoken directly to the family too. I didn't speak to the families this time. Um, but the last two cases that I worked, I did get to speak to the people and like kind of get a read off of them. This one was cold case, honey. This one, here's a file, here's your pictures, here's the story, find them. And I'm like, damn. <clears throat> Little to no information. And then my mom was like, well, you read bitches with little to no information all day. Like, it was the pressure. And it's the first time I can just say, oh, thank God it's off. And thank God I can just talk to my girls today. <laughs> Shit. You know what I mean? I'm about to do something real country. Sorry about that. I reckon I had to get that loogie out of me this morning. Ugh. Today's the first day I feel like I'm actually outside. I've been outside all weekend trying to clear my head and channel. And um, now I feel like I'm outside. I feel like I'm on the lake. I feel like I'm, you know. Whew. Hey, Rochelle, I'm doing okay. I'm just uh, clearing my head and just sorting out my thoughts. <clears throat> what an honor. It was a privilege to submit that report. Um, I don't know what happens after that. Like, I just, I hit submit. Um, I should get paid for my time before the end of the day. And um, we'll see if I help. I'm just praying that I help. Like, you know what I'm saying? But see, I also say this. And I, you know, I got to be honest with my girls. I was motivated by money, which I never, I normally never do. Like I, um, again, I'm throwing a big ass concert, and I talked about money last week. Um, I'm paid as fuck, but it's gonna take a lot to do what I'm trying to do. Like, and so I was like, this is like an opportunity out the blue. Like, if I nail this shit, like they pay big, they pay big bucks. Like, and I get paid by the state. Like, and um, <clears throat> I gotta be honest in saying that I was slightly motivated by like price tag on this shit like i know how much they paid them last two cases i held with and i'm like i got three like that's three times as much if i actually nailed this shit so like it was just so inverted this experience like i never work for money i work to assist right and i felt like if i was to look at it like that then my shit would be wrong so i ambitiously tried to say i'm working for the family i work for the family but as i'm talking to my manager and shit like i don't want that money i am like you know what i'm saying so i felt myself flawed in the process like you know what i'm saying like i never i've never ever have worked for money i've always worked to help people and to assist people with the knowledge and the abilities that i had and this is a more dramatic case and who it who who am i to want money out of this like out of every single person i read i read your baby daddies i read you i read the dead fact that they got them bitches on i read the you got them side piece i read the fact that tonight you gonna blow up this year i got receipts on receipts with bullshit but then when it comes to something serious that's when my humanity kick in that's when i say bitch i want this going like i really was like nigga who are you bro like remember why you doing this like like you got to remember like this, this ain't this ain't you know so then there was some guilt attached to it. Like, this shit was a lot. <laughs> this was a whole lot, you know? And then I was like, okay, no, 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 no. Like, every every time I got like that, I was like, no, 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 no. Like, like no, just just stay focused on bringing the girl home. Focus on them two boys. Like, just do your thing. And I still feel kind of guilty that I thought that. Like, I was like... And if I thought that, then my renters are going to be fucked up because I'm not used to working out of that place. And then if I thought that, see, that's like the devil fucking with you, bro. Like, that's like, or it's a lesson to be learned that you still have that in you, even though you've never resided from that place. You know, mm. I hated, I hated the fact that I thought like that. I was like, nigga, who are you? But like, you can't be, you know.
And maybe that's a temptation I'll be like faced with again. Because the devil don't tempt you unless God got a lesson for you. Firm believer in that shit. You ain't going to be tested by something if you don't have nothing to learn from what you're being tested by. So maybe I'll be faced with that energy again. I definitely feel like I'm going to turn it into a tarot card. Inverted purpose would be the definition. You know, inverted notion would be the definition. You know? It was hard. And I'm still kind of in that spirit, but I feel like talking to my girls today is going to kind of shift me back into the entertaining side of what I do. <clears throat> you know, so many times people think it's just like, this nigga, it's 10 o'clock. I think people should be arriving in my house. So let me sit up here so I can actually see. Cerberus! Okay, bitch. Gotta keep an eye on that motherfucker. That motherfucker a jet on your ass. <sighs> I feel like we should meet by the lake to talk about music for some reason. Maybe that's why I'm over here. Yeah, I don't know. But nobody's here yet. They're already late. It's a bad sign. You have to consider <clears throat> the energy that's coming to you for your services. You're not wrong because it's different. <clears throat> I appreciate you for saying that. But as a pioneer, you gotta... You gotta be better than the average. And that mentality is not better than the average. That is quite literally average. And I just, I hated myself for like half a day. I was just beating myself up. Like, nigga, why the fuck? Why the fuck are you thinking like this, bro? Like, you know what I mean? Anywho. So, yeah, we're starting our Monday off just reflecting and I get to plug back into the entertainment part. I'm excited about that. My hair looks fucking phenomenal. <laughs> okay. Every extension is back in my hair installed the right way so they don't slip. My shape up looks good. I just got to comb it out or whatever. I'm happy. I'm happy I took that road trip. Most of my downloads happened when I was on the road. <clears throat> I'll be honest. And you know, in this vibrating that high psychically, I got about four nosebleeds channeling um you've heard stories about like when people you know go into spirit or they use tele telekinesis or something that they catch a nosebleed that shit is real and my nose was gushing like i'm in there channeling doing an african mantra in the beach room next thing you know i'm like gushing but you can't stop you can't get out of the trance you just have to go with it and it causes you to be lightheaded and when you're lightheaded you dissociate so i had a lot of dissociations <sighs> It's just wonderful to feel the wind in the air right now. I know I sound so fucking lame, but it's just so good to be outside and to... When I hit send on that report, the weight of the world was off my shoulders. <laughs> like, it was just... And I'm kind of in that space right now. highly emotional and maybe it was a good thing I didn't see the families this time because if they were emotional I probably would have channeled that and got thrown off too everything happened the way that it was supposed to um <laughs> two red robins flew by and um I do believe I helped I do believe I helped I do believe I helped. We'll find out, hopefully by the end of the day. And you know, the saying that they, like the first 48 hours when someone goes missing is very pivotal. One of these cases, this person been lost for six months. <clears throat> that was the longest um, span of time where they lost contact with the person six months and I still pinpointed some shit they didn't know I hope <laughs> mm. Mm. 
was hard, that was hard, y'all. That was real hard. I think that was like one of the hardest things I've ever done in my adult life. <laughs> and maybe God was showing me like, if you can do this, you can you can be an artist. You can, you know, do anything. <clears throat> Thank you, Sierra. I'm definitely trying. I, um, I'm used to releasing, and that's something else. Like, I don't know how this releasing process goes. I've never, you know, operated to that capacity for so long. <sighs> for five days, I was drenched off in spirit. Even when I had some refuge going to Callie's house and spending time with my God family, my chosen God family, like, um, I was still deeply in the spirit. I mean, I'm talking to them about the shit on the porch. They're, um, of Mexican descent. So they're, they're believers. And even the people that I was meeting, they're trying to help me. Like, what do you feel about it? And I'm like, yo, this is fucking dope. Like, I don't know, man. I just, everything feels divinely orchestrated. Everything feels divinely planned. It's just the pressure, the pressure, the pressure. I'm so happy I made the right move and not seeing clients last week. I'm definitely going to make up for that this week, though. <clears throat> With next day appointments, they're going to drop tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to work. <laughs> this week, I'm going to work. Work my ass off this week. Um, I had my girl Tyler find nationwide stories, and I found two that I like. This one with Tyler, who didn't answer the South African question, and Kenya Moore, did she get fired from the Housewives of Atlanta? Um, I did catch that live video where she was basically bullshitting. So, I'm definitely gonna talk about that. But I am in deep reflection right now. I only got two hours to be in deep reflection. And I'll be honest, y'all, I've been getting fucked up. Like, I had to smoke a lot. <laughs> and the goal is dissociation. The goal is for you to get out of your consciousness and apply that to someone else's consciousness. So normally people smoke weed for recreation or do drugs for recreation. I didn't do any drugs, but um, I smoked a lot of weed and I got drunk. And the reason why is if you can focus in the state of inebriation, you can more fully empathize with what it is that you have going on. But most of the time people, like, they do it for recreation. They do it to, I'm drinking this to feel some type of way. I drunk that so that I can channel better. It's all about your intention. So I was smoking hella, bro. Like, I was smoking. I was really just trying to, trying to go there. And I went. But I motherfucking went, bitch. All my kids want to meet you. I hope they get to. When are you coming to Dallas again? Breathe and release. Remember, you said you can just piss it out. You got, though, babe. Thank you. Um, I have no plans to go to Dallas anymore this year, to be honest. Uh, my next stop is Baltimore. And then um, the month of July, I think I'm going to do a Charlotte meet and greet. And then August is the... Uh, concert and then september it's chicago october it is detroit november it is fuck i think it's miami but that's hurricane season so what am I have to, no st louis and then december is new york because i want to do christmas in new york this year in times square with my mom she don't she don't want to do it but we're doing it and i know it's gonna be cold but i much prefer traveling in a colder climate than a hotter one Maybe that's just me. Um, I haven't had a lot of experience traveling in the cold, but I don't think I'm going to mind that much. I hate being hot. <laughs> I do not like being hot. Um, so, yeah, that's going down. <clears throat> Boost, they done fired Kenya Lord. Did they fire her or not? I don't know what the story is. <clears throat> I'll get into it later. Drop those NC dates, please. I'll make a trip up there from GA. Um, you want to get the concert ticket August the 24th. Uh, they're going to go up tonight. Those tickets have been available since January. Um, but they're $100 right now on the website. They're going to go up to 250 today. No day. So you might want to get them while um, they're still 100 But they're going up today. <clears throat> new products will hit uh, shop boots 
on um, Wednesday. Um, I got the first prototype of Bitch in the Woods. So Baltimore will have something to smell on. I'm just cleaning my pool. See, at the bottom of the pool ain't nothing but sand, goddamn. So I got to get a pool vacuum. It should be on the way. And I've been cleaning the hell out of this pool for workout purposes. And I'm losing weight. I'm down seven pounds. So that feels kind of good. Chlorinated. Your chlorinated ass. <sighs> Can concert tickets go up after payday? Miguel, kiss my ass. <laughs> Miguel, kiss the blackest part of my ass, bitch. Kiss the blackest, kiss the blackest part of my ass, bitch. Mm. Okay, so they're late to the motherfucking goddamn game meeting. But it's okay. I'm gonna go in here and drink my slim thick tea. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. But first, let us pray. God of the universe, God of love, God of light, thank you for choosing me to help assist in those families. Thank you for the knowledge that was downloaded upon to me, and thank you for the ability to translate that knowledge into the English language. Please find them. The amount of investing that I've done into these cases really has me emotionally involved. So please allow me to detach I want to pray for um, anybody who might be experiencing a challenge just know that it wouldn't have been administered to you if God didn't have a bigger purpose for you I want to pray for anybody who feels as if they can't do something that they've been elected to do <clears throat> you can I want to pray for anybody who feels like they got something to prove you've already proven it live in it I want to pray for anybody who feels like they're not good enough. Because just by showing up, you are good enough. I want to pray for anybody who feels like they're misunderstood. Because around here, we understand. I pray for anybody who feels like they can't, <clears throat> can't get it right. Because you get it right just by showing up. I want to pray for those families. I want to pray for the reuniting or the delivery of information that allows them to know that they weren't lost in vain. These things I pray. And I ask for a wonderful week and a wonderful day. Everybody just pulled up 12 minutes late. That's a bad sign, I feel. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm going to do this meeting real quick. I'll keep you guys posted later on today. Keep your notifications on. We're going to do an evening show. After my clients, I'm definitely going to take a nap, wake up, and then I'm all yours today. The tip jar is open, but I would wait until I drop a discount code. Clients, I'm all yours today, starting at 12. And then um, I'll see you guys later on tonight after work. I'm really feeling these evening shows, but I do feel like on Mondays, we are going to do um, a candid situation. All right, guys, wish me luck. We're putting together a show. Have a good day. Cuddle!